Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Dealer Mike. Um, shut this door. I think the builders are here in a tick, so I ain't got long. Anyone who knows the channel, um, we've got builders in doing some work in the conservatory and fitting the new kitchen, making a lot of racket as builders do. Um, but yeah, Space Blue update. The last time you saw this video, uh, it was on the floor. I was getting wound up because nothing would go right. And, and I took some time out, as you know, went to McDonald's, um, pick up some um, food, <laughs> thanks for the burger. And my missus said to me, can you pop the Juicens? Pick up some door handles for kitchen cupboards. I was in Juicens and um, lo and behold, on the counter was some jewel bits. 50 pence with juice, brand new, new old stock. Metal and metal drill bits, drill bits. So, brought one, and you'll see now in the bottom corner um, what I've done with this frame. So, a frame, as you know, was where we be in here, there was remains of an old sissy bar. Um, so, the frame wasn't going in anywhere past here, which is obviously too high. Um, so, I had like to drill into deep into that tube there and bring out the remains of the old sissy bar. Bottom left hand corner now you'll see a little clip of me um, realising that this is what's going on and then getting the debris out and then cracking it, cracking it. Um, I'll include that now and then I'll show you some pictures of the space blue right just to add this sissy bar on this space blue this frame we're getting there i went down to susan's as you know in the last video i mentioned about getting some bits of the kitchen i'm gonna add this little bit in in the video somewhere on the next one anyway um i bought a drill bit a drill bit metal um a proper one decent one reduced to 50 pence so bargain anyway i'm drilling out me drilling into the frame and I'll show you now what's coming out. Look guys, look, look. This sissy bar will fit. Don't you fall over now, come on. Okay, so um yeah, interesting how I have to drill right, out let's try and get section of that frame mm -hmm. and um, yeah, but then the bike started to come together again, so I put on the wheel, front wheel, the dyno front wheel from that orange RSW I picked up from Norwich um, for 90 quid, um, well in theory 20 pound was a bike and 70 pound was all the spare parts I cherry picked, got money back on that profit, and I got a free bike. So, in theory, I got a free front wheel. I think that looks lovely. Um, with the original tyre, there's no red line, and that original tyre, um, hand painted forks. I think it all, all fits in well. The back wheels, you know, is from the, the grifter, grifter on a back wheel. That looks nice. Um, the seat, as you know, I picked up uh, one at an auction, run it for 90 quid, including postage. Um, sissy bar, I bought from the same chap who sold me the frame. A um, few things I need finishing off. Um, the brake cables have been ordered, so there'll be brand new brake cables. Um, there'll be a a reclaimed set of brake blocks on the back. The front brake blocks are from the orange RSW. Um, I'll be fitting a new gear. Well, no gear leakage yet because I've got a gear console. But I've got a chain in here. That's a chain. Um, that'll come to the tick. The heron bracket and the button levers will go on as well. I've ordered new brakes. Right. A little modification I've done to it. I've um, got attached this. I've got this from a, a auto jumble the other weekend. 31 
So 31st of March 986. No resemblance to a bicycle at all. It looks good, yeah. I come the bike is 1980, 80 frame, um, and or well, 80 back wheel from a grifter. The frame is earlier, mid 70s. So I've come to the conclusion. 31st, I'm going to assume it was made on the 31st of March. 86 is 86 times. I bang my head against a big wall trying to work out how this bike can go back together. Um, it has been a pain in the ass, to be fair, excuse my language. Right, we're getting there. Right, so, the bit that was interesting to begin with, why it wouldn't work. So, I'll bring you close in a tick. But, bottom bracket, well, bottom nut. Then, you want this, I've just put in to test it, but it's not working. Then you want this nut. And as you know, this I put on, it wouldn't tighten down. Turns out that is from a grifter. That's a grifter top nut. 24 TPI. To fit a Mark II, looking up correctly, you need a Mark II, not a Mark I, a Mark II chopper looking nut. 26 TPI. Now TPI, I'm guessing, stands for threads per inch. So every inch there's a thread like going around the, the groove, and 26 is on the Mark II chopper, 24 is on the grifter. That's why this one won't fit. I've ordered a new part, that do not fit either. I've ordered another new part, that'll be in a post. So, we're nearly at this stage now where we can ride this thing to the pub, and I'm looking forward to that. Um, if I don't manage to find a gear shifter at decent money, I ain't worried too much because I can still ride it. It's probably in third or first, don't know, I ain't bothered. Um, but I'll ride it, get that locking nut on, get the handlebars tight. Again, I've got to take the forks back out again because that locking, that little nut from the handlebar stem is falling into the forks. Got to get that out. So once that locking nut arrives, I probably won't film it, but I'll just put everything back together again. Um, when the brakes arrive, I'll, I'll, I'll do that little video on the brakes and the chain. Um, I'll do my first first ride on the Space Blue. Um, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, remember, if you want to see more content and get notified, hit that subscribe um, and, and leave a comment, obviously, and, and hit like. And I'll. See you soon. Let me know your thoughts. I think it looks lovely. Original dyno tyre. Yeah. Cool looking bike. Cool looking bike. Um, yeah. See you later on next one. Some exciting news coming up. New, new projects are going to be announced and, and news on that little rally mini burner. Um, that's going back together. <laughs>